so till now we have seen all the classification of the viruses based on their genetic material and the uh, envelope whether it is present or not like the dna viruses non enveloped dna viruses then enveloped dna viruses then non enveloped rna viruses and enveloped rna viruses so the, that was the classification we uh, saw in the general virology chapter now we will see the viruses separately uh, uh, in sequence so first of all we will see the herpes virus infections now the herpes virus infection is not a single viral infection but this herpes virus uh, you know consists of an uh, that belongs to a family of herpes viridae and that herpes viridae family contains a number of viruses of clinical importance so those viruses of clinical importance under the herpes viridae family they are classified into three subfamilies and those three subfamilies are the alpha subfamily the beta subfamily and the gamma subfamily but uh, these are the classification and uh, questions are directly asked from these uh, classifications uh, in the MCQ so this classification becomes very important from MCQ point of view so you have to just remember the what are the viruses which are coming under which subfamily of the herpes viridae so if we see the alpha subfamily then we have the human herpes virus 1 human herpes virus 2 and human herpes virus 3 it is very easy to remember 1 2 3 is in the alpha subfamily then human herpes virus 5 human herpes virus 6 and human herpes virus 7 is in the are they are in the beta subfamily so also it is very uh, easy like 5 6 7 in a sequence they are present in the beta subfamily and then the gamma subfamily includes the human herpes virus 4 and just double of 4 is 8 so human herpes virus 4 and human herpes virus 8 are included in the gamma subfamily now some of these uh, human herpes viruses they are given specific names of their own like the human herpes virus 1 is given the name of humans uh, sorry herpes simplex virus 1 and human herpes virus 2 is given the name of herpes simplex virus 2 similarly the Her human herpes virus 3 is given the name of varicella zoster virus the herpes human herpes virus 5 is given the name of cytomegalovirus and human herpes virus 4 is given the name of epstein barr virus now these names uh, may become sometimes confusing to you that you may not recall these uh, names of these human herpes viruses that's why i have made it uh, in a single box so that you can remember it easily and i will tell you the mnemonic also to remember these names so human herpes virus 1 is herpes simplex virus 1 this is very simple 1 to 1 human herpes virus 2 is hum herpes simplex virus 2 this is also simple 2 to 2 and human herpes virus 3 is the varicella zoster virus human herpes virus 4 is the epstein barr virus and human herpes virus 5 is the cytomegalovirus so question may be asked in both ways either they will give you the human herpes virus 3 4 5 or they will give the specific names like varicella zoster virus epstein barr virus or the cytomegalovirus so question may be asked in both ways now coming to how to remember these names of different human herpes viruses so when you see the herpes human herpes virus 3 the uh, digit 3 and here the letter Z so first make the letter Z and when you make the letter Z just make a line from the end of the Z and it becomes 3 so by that you can remember that the varicella zoster virus is human herpes virus 3 similarly when you come to the cytomegalovirus where the first word of the virus is the sorry first letter of the uh, virus name is the C so it is C while the human herpes virus the digit is 5 so you are making 5 from C so just make the opposite of C it becomes like this and just make a is, um, you know make it 5 so it becomes 5 now so it becomes easy to remember that from C you have make it made it 5 so human herpes virus 5 is cytomegalovirus okay and epstein barr virus you can remember um, you have to mug it up okay 
so just remember that the human herpes virus 4 is Epstein Barr virus otherwise the varicella zoster virus can be remembered by this method and the cytomegalovirus or the human herpes virus 5 can be remembered by this method now coming to the morphology of all of these viruses okay be it cmb be it epstein bar virus be it human herpes virus 1 2 herpes simplex virus 1 2 or the cytomegalovirus be it the uh, you know the herpes human herpes virus 8 human herpes virus 7 about all of them the morphology of the virus will remain the same this morphology will remain the same for all of these viruses so the vi the morphology includes the nucleic acid so nucleic acid of all of these viruses all of these viruses is double stranded dna is double stranded dna and the capsid is made up of capsomeres uh, we all know this from our general virology lectures then the symmetry is icosahedron also we know this from the general virology where i have talked about the morphology of the viruses then envelope is made up of the lipoprotein okay and replication uh, we have talked in the general virology okay where the replication how does the virus viruses replicate so they uh, you know in a nutshell i can tell you that the viruses enter into the uh, host body and then the nucleic acids of those viruses get incorporated into the host cells uh, nucleic acid or the nucleus of the host cells and there when once they are incorporated into the nucleic acid of the host cell now they will they use the uh, you know machinery of the host cell to uh, replicate their genetic material be it rna or dna anything may be there of the uh, anything may be the uh, genetic material of the virus that genetic material is replicated by using the host machinery and then those uh, uh, virus particles those genetic uh, particles of the viruses the genetic materials of the viruses which are formed by the host uh, machinery those are incorporated again into different cells and then different virus particles are formed and then viruses dissipate into the different other host cells also through the blood so that is how in a nutshell uh, replication of the virus occurs now here is a very important catch in in the case of the herpes viridi family viruses that the double stranded dna in these viruses is linear in shape is linear in shape and as i have told you that they get incorporated into the host cell nucleus or the nucleic material so they incorporated into the host cell and once they incorporated they become circular this is a very unique feature you should remember this okay so once the dn double stranded dna of these viruses belonging to the herpes vd family get incorporated into the host cell that becomes circular so then there is a direct change from linear to the circular and then the replication occurs and the mechanism of the replication is the rolling circle mechanism is the rolling circle mechanism this is very important from mcq point of view you should remember this that how does the replication of the herpes viridi viruses occur so it, the mechanism is the rolling circle mechanism okay this may be asked in the mcqs so this is all about the classification of the herpes viridi family and the morphology of the herpes viridi uh, you know the viruses belonging to the herpes viridi family this morphology sets fit or fits in all of those viruses okay all of the members of the herpes viridi family now we will see all of these viruses of the herpes viridi family separately in different videos or uh, you know the video lecture series in future so this is all for this